Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit Architecture. In this lesson, we are going to create rooms in Revit Architecture. And from what you are seeing here, we have the rooms, you know, these are bounded by the walls. The rooms that we are going to create to be bounded by the walls. We are also going to extract, this will extract automatically the area for each and every room as you can see. And in areas where we don't have the walls, there's a tool that I'm going to show you which you are able to use to place the room even where you don't have any wall. From here, we are also going to extract the legend and automatically the rooms will be placed like that. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you like my video, subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. So without wasting time, let's get started in this tutorial. Now, before I proceed, I just want to ask anyone who is interested in learning Revit architecture or new projects. I have a course, a full course on Revit architecture where I've explained on how you can use Revit architecture from modeling to detailing. So if you enroll in this course, definitely you are going to benefit a lot. So let's get started in this lesson by first of all, you know, just deleting everything here because I want to show you on what, what you are supposed to do. So I'll just select everything, go to filter. Then check none and I'm just going to maybe let me do this to make it easier. I'll simply select the room, right click and then select all instances in visible view. Then I can delete from there. As you can see, I've deleted all the rooms. Then I also need to delete the room separation. I'll show you how to, you know, to add them. Just select everything there. Then go to filter, check none, room separation from there. Apply. Okay. Then delete from the, you know, from the screen from there as you can see so you can see that we just have these walls and we want to start adding those rooms extracting all the areas and also we have, i'll show you on how we can rename okay so the first thing that you need to do of course is to go to architecture and you see that we have the two there called room okay so just click on that one called room and you see that as you move it it's going to float like that and when you reach where you have the room, it will pick the boundaries automatically, okay? You can see that we have the door there. It knows to say that there is a door there, so it will just, you know, be bounded within, you know, within right there, okay? So as you can see from there, the upper limit, we are applying it on a floor finish level, okay? You can see the offset, but more importantly, if I go there, I'm even able to pick how I, how I want to name, you know, this one, but I will not use any of these because speaking from what I deleted, I'll have to rename my, my room. So the first one, it will just call room, you know, nine square meters. So I'll just modify to cancel. Then I can go there and select. And from here, you may see something like maybe a number in the room. Okay. So you can switch from there. It will show, you know, the area there in square feet and also metric okay so you if you switch from here you can pick what you want to see you can see if you just want to show the name only you can do that but i like using the the the, the room and the area as you can see it's right there okay then i'll continue and place the other rooms just click on room once again go there you can see that if you're outside once you just move inside it will pick it like that from the boundaries then i'll simply go there and you know just click within the rooms just like that to calculate the area automatically so guys this is how you place your rooms it's easy to do i'll click on modify so you see that we have the rooms there and it's just calling it room because it's a new room with the area there that's the information i want to display now if i go somewhere here where we we don't have the if i just go there where we don't have you know the the, the area bounded by the by the walls it will not pick it so what you need to do for the area to be picked there, you need to go to the next tool, which is called a room separator. So just click on the room separator and you just need to close it by maybe just picking that point. I'll take it until I touch the other wall, right click cancel, then I'll pick this point and I'm just trying to close so that I can have the, you know, the boundaries closed by making use of that tool, just like that. Let, let me go back to architecture then try to pick room as you can see now that area is bounded by just making use of the room separator as you can see so from here deliberately i will remove the tag on placement when i was placing all these rooms you see that we have the tag on placement okay then we also have place rooms automatically 
because we're just placing them automatically. So if I just pick there, one room created automatically, as you can see from here. So you can even just pick that one without, you know, doing one by one. So you can see that I place the rooms automatically. I'll quickly undo all this so that you see how you can place your rooms automatically. Okay. I'm just uh, doing control Z on the keyboard so I can go to room and you have these options, place rooms automatically, then tag on placement, then highlight boundaries. Okay. You see that if I do that, all the boundaries will be highlighted as you can see from here, except that uh, room bounding elements are highlighted. Okay. That's what he's saying here. But here, if I just call it, let me just close this one and try to place rooms automatically seven rooms are created i'll close it you see that all the rooms are created except for this one because i need to you know to place the you know the boundaries now you can see that it's also filling up the wall there i don't want to do this that's why i just want to place the rooms one by one so again control z to just undo i can go back there so you've seen that you can place the rooms automatically you can highlight the boundaries if i just and check tag on placement then try to place all the rooms automatically the seven rooms will be placed except that there will be no tags okay so there's a tool which you can use to you know to 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 make your tags it's somewhere here if i go to annotate but we'll come to this one later okay so as you can see the rooms are placed automatically so i'll maintain this one and just show you how you can place those tags you know one by one so let me just finish up this area by once again, going to, sorry, not that one, right click cancel. I'll go to room separator once again and finish up this part. Okay, just touch it there, right click cancel. Just want to make sure that this one is completely closed by doing that. So guys, this is very easy to do. So I'll go to architecture, then room, then I just want to place it there. There's no tag on placement. If you want a tag to be placed there, make sure that you check this one and place it like that. So you have it like that. Now, you see that we just have one color there. I just hope that once you, we add the names, all the colors will change, or I'll show you where to change the colors from. Now, let's add the tags like this one because we didn't check it. So if I go to annotate there, you see that we have the room tag. I can click on it and I can start, you know, placing from here. I can even change. Remember, I showed you about this one. You can pick from there. Then you're just able to you know, to add your, you know, your rooms like that. It's calcula calculating the, the areas automatically so I can place that one. Okay, where are we? And this one, you see that we have it there. Right click, cancel, and you see that we have the, we have the rooms. Now, if I want to, you know, to, to start naming these rooms, just a matter of dub double clicking there. So I can call this one bed row one. It's up to you, the naming that you want to use. Of course, I can change the caps. Double click there. Maybe this is my kitchen. I will not finish it. You can go ahead. Okay, let me just, you know, it doesn't look good. So I'll still go back to kitchen there. Okay. And finish it up. Then I'll go to this one. I'll call it dining. Right. Then this one, I'll call it living. Okay, click outside, then this one, maybe passage. Then I'll come to this one, I'll call it master. Make sure that you double click there and, you know, master bed, just like that. I can go ahead and finish. You can even start seeing now the, you know, as you can see from here, as you change the names, because now these will be treated like differently, you also start seeing the colors, you know, changing just like this. So I'll go to this one. I'll just call it WC stroke bath. Okay. Just like that. Click outside. You see it continue changing. This is the passage, bed one. Then this one. Okay. I'll come to this one. I can call it. Okay, maybe veranda, just like that. Click outside, you see that it's going to change. Okay, these are, the differences are quite minor, but the colors are all different, as you can see from here. So, guys, this is how you add, you know, your, 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 your rooms in Revit. It's easy to do. Now, let's see how you add your, your legend. We want to have a legend here. And, guys, you can see that on the walls, I have some, you know, some few pattern that you are seeing there. I also have, a, you know, uh, a shade, a 
okay uh, that is a, a shadow sorry so if you want to know on how to you know to to work out this you know to add the fill and the shadow please you can comment there i can do a video on that but in this case we're just doing the room so now let's create a legend here so what you need to do is to go to annotate then before you go to annotate let me go to architecture let me go to rooms and first of all once you do that go to rooms and go to color schemes click on the color schemes and from here make sure that you pick rooms okay pick the rooms there and if you come here you can pick how you want to sort out your rooms of course i was using the the name so that's why i have to pick the name here okay so pick the name there then here you can just rename the title for what you want so i just want to call it maybe room legend okay so i'll call it room legend just like this then here as i've said the category of course these are rooms so depending on what you are doing you can categorize it so that is rooms the color i want to pick the names because that's what I'm, if i pick base finish then click ok nothing will appear here because we don't have that data here so i'll go to rooms or oh, to name once again click ok and you see that it will appear like this so if you want to change the color for example here these two bed one and passage the colors are two are too close so bed zero one and the passage where is the passage it's right here okay so i'll change bedroom zero one i can just click there and you know just give it a different color like that i just want to even change it up to there i can click okay does is it going to change as you can see you can try to change colors so that you just have a contrast in terms of colors so once you do that under the room and area then now you can go to to the legend by just going to annotate then you see that you have the color fill legend just click there and automatically you are going to have it there i can click it there and you see that you have a nice you know if it's for presentation this will look look will look very very beautiful as you can see it looks beautiful and if i can click on that click on edit scheme you see that it will still take me there and i can still change the way i want to be so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel and see you in some upcoming tutorials